Welcome back guys. In this video, we are going to create a view component which I call the confirm modal which will help me pop up a modal dialog for confirmation from the user before taking any action. For example, on activate, it will ask me Arush you want to activate this user. I can either do OK or cancel based on which the action will be taken and otherwise it doesn't and obviously yes this will be a post call i could have you know created a link and have the component take that user but the post call seems to be a little more you know, safer way of doing it and obviously we get the confirmation also so let's dive into it so the first thing which i'm going to do is create a fresh installation of laravel Once this is installed, I will quickly come back. So we have the new package. Let's go inside it and I'll open it in Sublime. All right. Um, for database, we are going to use SQLite. And let me then touch database, database dot SQLite. Okay. And then what are the other configurations that we need I'll go into views welcome.php let's clean this up a bit I don't need this and I don't need this as well in here we will have our application running okay so this is as far as our welcome blade goes and in assets js app.js i'll boot this up a little different in a different way so first thing is import and we will import view from view we will also require axios so yarn add axios and we will also need the view axios so we'll add that as well quick okay now once we come here we need to do import axios and okay and i mean most of the things you will already find in the you know example just to give you an idea this is you know the source code where inside resources assets js components i ha i will have that entire co code which is the you know confirm model component but yeah um, and i will have a release as well uh, you can sorry tag as well for that so you can download it from here but right now we are going to go with a new setup so that you understand how things are done. Okay. And so view axios is imported. Now we need to write an interceptor so that, um, you know, we need to send the X CSRF token on every request. Right. So, uh, let me show you the setup app dot JS so if you see we have imported view i am using router that's why i've kept it but we don't require right now axios and view axios is imported and then we need to add this so we'll just do this you know axios interceptors request and we are sending this now i don't think this token is available with us we need to add that anyways and we will do that also view dot prototype p r o t o t prototype yes dollar http equals axios and the last thing is view use view axios and we need to pass axios to it okay um now this is 
primarily because if we don't do this okay we will have to inside the view component we'll have to do something like axios.get but we are removing that what we can do with this is we can simply do a dollar http and it will work so if you have already written any code using view resources then you can simply you know get rid of resources which is uh, not the you know not an official package with view right now uh, and they themselves you know, uh, recommend using axios so this is how you can you know start using axios without really touching any of your existing code okay uh, now for this part we need to add the you know code the script in here <coughs> so i'll just quickly go to header dot blade this is the code i'm just copy pasting um, you know things which are already done from my side uh, just to give you an idea oops okay so window dot laravel equals an object which has csrf token and this is where we are printing it so if we refresh um, okay we are not still running the application right so i'll just close my existing running application and in here we can do php artisan serve node wo npm watch and on localhost we should have our application running which is correct console right um, I'm not loading the JS file yet I think yes it's not getting loaded yet so after body we do script source equals mix slash js slash app dot js and i think one last piece is we need to do constant app equals new view okay inside that we will bind it to element app and just to make sure we are loading the things correctly in our data will have something called message which says hello world and inside our blade file content yes id equals app file is built um, no errors my view is getting loaded that i can see so message Oh, I'm sorry. This is with at the rate. Okay. This is loading. This is from PHP and this is from Vue.js. So the basic scaffolding is done. Now we are ready. But just before we can get started with the you know the component. So set up passport. Okay. I already have it ready here. So composer require mainly because you know, we are going to make http calls and um, with laravel's new versions all the apis require the csrf token and hence that is something which we will do so that you know we are using the best practices so i have this installed next step we need to add this service provider oh my god someone has started with his drill machine uh, sorry for the disturbance but i'll so we have the service provider ready next step we do the migrate but uh, can I do that? Um, let me just close this and again relaunch SQLite and look at the SQLite database. I have it inside my desktop components database. 
uh, oh okay i haven't run the migration so we'll do migrate and then let me load the database so inside desktop components database this browse data we have all the tables right okay so that's done passport install that is done now we need to mention that the user will have api tokens so inside sublime user.php has api tokens okay then the next step is adding passport routes inside our auth service provider in the boot method import passport this is done and then our configuration of auth auth.php we'll go into guards api the driver will be passport now and yeah let's quickly see if we can make a get request to you know one of the default passport routes so i'll create inside resources assets js components confirm model dot view i'll have script template right now we don't do anything much export default inside created i'll do this dollar http get api slash user it's a get request so then i'll get the response console dot log response and inside our app we will first need to import the component import confirm model from components slash confirm model okay and view dot component confirm dash model model and i'll have this okay and <clears throat> in here hmm, build okay it's done it's still giving me unauthorized oh yes sorry so the last piece is we need to add this part inside the kernel HTTP kernel in here we need to add this middleware which will create the you know fresh API token on every request so hmm, that's strange it is still giving me an unauthorized error all right so of course we are getting this error um, uh, because we are not logged in as an authenticated user and that's the reason you know we have this problem if we go to api.php it says auth and then api right so it's need to be a authenticated user so what we are going to do is uh first let's create an user so php artisan tinker app user or rather i already have it i think yes user one user one at gmail.com so i'll create that and user two so we have two users let me quickly check here we have this and what we are going to do is web.php um so what we will do is auth login using id 
one i think this should work uh, so you know this is how we are getting the data the current logged in user right okay so this is the first part where you know we have set up everything you know um now this is i'm doing it because you know till now i haven't you know told you how my basic application is running which is you know this okay and so you know going forward i'm going to make all the changes here in my view so uh, yeah in the next video we are going to actually start creating the confirm model box and we will use bulma.io model component for that thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to share this video on social networking websites